This video is all about how to fix CPU speed and boost FPS by disabling hidden Windows services. Before applying these tweaks, my system struggled with random stutters and inconsistent frame rates. But after doing them, the performance became much smoother with a noticeable FPS increase. So make sure to watch till the end to get the best results. And if this guide helps you out, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like on the video to support the channel. Channel. So guys, in this first step, we'll focus on optimizing two crucial registry values that control how your system manages core parking. By adjusting these values, you allow your processor to run at full efficiency, improve multitasking during gaming, and minimize input lag or micro stutters. Start by opening the Windows search bar and typing registry editor. Right click on it and select run as administrator to launch it with full access. Once it opens, copy and paste the exact registry path provided in the video description into the address bar and press enter. This will take you straight to the section that manages CPU core parking limits. Locate the entry labeled max, which defines the maximum processor state. Right click it, choose modify, and change the value data to 64 in hexadecimal format. This tells Windows to allow your CPU to run at 100% of its potential whenever needed. Click OK to confirm. Next, find the min entry, right click it, and set its value to zero in hexadecimal. This ensures that Windows won't park any CPU cores keeping them all active and instantly available for demanding tasks like gaming or editing. After applying these tweaks, your CPU will respond faster, maintain consistent clock speeds, and handle background processes more efficiently. You'll notice smoother frame delivery, less stutter, and an overall performance improvement, especially on mid-range or budget systems. All right, guys, in the next step, we'll focus on disabling unnecessary background services that constantly eat away at your system's processing power. By turning them off, you'll free up valuable performance headroom, improve overall stability, and reduce random frame drops, especially on systems with limited cores or older processors. Start by opening the Windows search bar and typing services, then click on the Services app from the results. This window lists every background process running on your PC. Scroll down until you find SysMain, which may appear as Superfetch on older versions of Windows. While it's designed to speed up app launches by preloading frequently used programs, it often ends up causing high disk and CPU usage in the background, to disable it, right-click SysMain, choose Properties, set the startup type to Disabled, and click Stop if the service is currently running. Hit OK to confirm. Next, locate Windows Search in the same list. This service continuously indexes files on your drive so you can find them faster. But during gaming sessions, it can trigger random CPU spikes and cause stuttering. Just like before, right click it, open properties, set the startup type to disabled, and click stop if it's running. Confirm with OK to save the changes. With both SysMain and Windows Search disabled, your CPU will have fewer tasks running in the background, allowing more consistent frame rates, faster level loading, and smoother gameplay. This step is especially effective when paired with the registry optimization from before giving your system a noticeable performance boost and making your gaming experience feel far more responsive. Now guys, in the next step, we'll unlock your CPU's full core potential to ensure Windows utilizes every bit of available processing power. This tweak forces your system to recognize and use all cores from the moment it boots up, which can significantly improve gaming smoothness. Begin by opening the Windows search bar and typing System Configuration, then click the result to launch the window. Once it opens, switch to the Boot tab at the top and select 
the advanced options button. A new window will appear showing advanced boot configurations. Here, check the box labeled number of processors. This setting allows you to manually define how many CPU cores Windows should activate. From the drop down menu, choose the highest number available. For example, if your system lists 4, 6, 8, or 16 cores, select the maximum value shown. This ensures Windows doesn't restrict your processor's capability and allows all cores to run at full performance from startup onward. Once you've made your selection, click OK, then apply, and restart your PC to activate the change. After rebooting, your CPU will be fully unlocked, giving Windows and your games unrestricted access to every available core and thread. This adjustment helps eliminate bottlenecks, improve frame consistency, and boost responsiveness. Now guys, if you're dealing with lag or high ping while gaming, the Gear Up Booster is your ultimate fix. Here's a quick guide on how to use it for the best network performance. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. Roblox, Fortnite, or any game. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game it will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Nod tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Alright guys, now we'll disable core isolation, which can slightly reduce performance on mid-range or older systems. Turning it off allows your processor to focus entirely on performance, resulting in smoother gameplay, steadier frame rates, and even a minor FPS boost. To disable it, open the Windows search bar and type Core Isolation, then click on the matching result. This will take you directly to the Core Isolation settings within Windows Security. Here you'll see a toggle labeled Memory Integrity. If it's currently switched on, click the toggle to turn it off. Windows might prompt you to restart your PC. Make sure you do as the changes will only take effect after a reboot. Keep in mind that this tweak slightly reduces your system security. Disabling core isolation lowers protection against certain types of low-level attacks, so it's best to ensure your PC is otherwise secure. Maintain a reliable antivirus, keep Windows updated, and avoid downloading untrusted files. With those precautions in place, this adjustment can give you a clean balance between performance and protection, helping your CPU deliver more consistent results during gaming and other demanding workloads. And that's it for this guide. If these tweaks help boost your FPS, make sure to subscribe for more performance tips and drop a like to support the channel.